is the Emergency Medical Minute. Good morning. So since Emily wants to participate in this medical minute, I'm going to give you a little clinical scenario. You can tell me what disease you might want to cons- be concerned about in this, in this situation. <laughs> so um, a patient comes into your emergency department as a sepsis alert with a temp of 103, um, mild cough, history of some vague gastroenteritis type symptoms, um, and very altered. He really isn't providing history. Family says that he was normal three days ago and um, that he just got back from Vegas um, and was, uh, was there for just a couple days, but uh, seemed okay when he got back. And then uh, approximately seven days later, family saw him normal. And then uh, two days later after that, he was sick, sick, sick. So, um, he's got, again, altermentation. He's got some cough, and he has some GI symptoms, and he's septic. And your first lab that you get back is setting 126. So, um, I trained in Philadelphia, and there was this little disease in 1976 at a Legionnaires con- convention. Anyone familiar with that? Legionella, Legionnaires disease. So <clears throat> there, uh, Legionella is a bacteria that lives in water and soil. It's pretty ubiquitous, but the one that causes problems for humans is uh, Legionella pneumophilia. And so, again, very ubiquitous bacteria. It uh, is seen mostly at the extremes of age, uh, and most people that develop this can develop it episodically, um, but you'll occasionally see outbreaks. So the reason I threw the Vegas thing in is this guy stayed in a hotel, so there's always concerns about uh, this bacteria getting into the water systems and having contaminated water systems and air conditioning systems, which is how it sort of affected all these legionnaires back in 1976. So... Um, so basically, Legionella usually causes pneumonia. So that's what Legionnaire's disease is. It's a bad pneumonia um, that kind of classically doesn't respond to beta-lactam antibiotics because it doesn't work on those bacteria. Um, so two to ten days post-exposure, you'll develop this pneumonia with these extrapulmonary manifestations, which we kind of described, which are the GI symptoms, um, which are sort of more common. Um, you can also get hyponatremia, abnormal LFTs. Um, and then altermentation, which may be related to uh, meningitis or brain abscess. So these patients uh, that present with all of this kind of complex of symptoms, you want to test them for Legionella. And the best test is to get a PCR on sputum. Um, however, if they don't produce any sputum or they're not intubated and you can't get lower respiratory tree uh, sputum, you can actually test a urinary antigen. It doesn't test for all of the subtypes of Legionella, but again, most of the ones that are pathogenic for humans, uh, it tests for, and it's very specific. Um, finally, the um, other thing about this is it doesn't, again, respond to beta-lactam, so you have to give fluoroquinolones, macrolides, or um, if in a pinch, you can give uh, doxycycline or tetracycline uh, to to treat it. So kind of just a, a different pulmonary disease complex that uh, if you have some of these other features, you might want to think about it. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.